And now we get to experience this show again. I'm excited and a little scared. Woohoo! Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 cast reunion performances. But I know I'm who I am today because I know you. For this list, we'll be looking at the most nostalgic and sentimental reunions from Broadway's best ensembles. After the video, let us know in the comments which cast you'd love to see reunite. Number 10. Disney Broadway Leading Ladies Performance – The View and it sees me through. It's enough for me, In 2019, Disney on Broadway's biggest and brightest stars reunited for a very special appearance on The View. The performance was in celebration of the theatrical division of Disney's milestone 25th anniversary on The Great White Way. Performers like Susan Egan, Heather Headley, Casey Levy, and Patty Murin, who are known for playing some of Disney's most fantastic leading ladies, all came out to mark the occasion. tribute with a sweeping and dazzling medley from shows like Frozen, The Lion King, and Mary Poppins, the performance was nothing short of magical. Sure, it was a reunion of stars from different casts rather than one cast reunion, but when the result is that powerful, why quibble? Number 9. The Casts of Kinky Boots – Broadway.com NYC Pride Once I was afraid, but then you came along You put your faith in me and I was challenged to be strong Everybody say yeah, because Kinky Boots blew the roof right off with this epic cast reunion. To celebrate Pride 2020, Kinky Boots casts worldwide came together, virtually that is. To cooperate with the COVID-19 pandemic, the socially distanced performance was recorded and then uploaded online. Singing and dancing to the uplifting and joyful number Raise You Up, performers from Germany, Canada, South Korea and other countries assembled to spread some joy and raise awareness. Perhaps best of all, original stars Billy Porter, Anna Lee Ashford, and Stark Sands participated, adding a special energy to it all. What a way to lift everyone's spirits during a bleak time in history. Number 8. The cast of the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee. Actors Fund Benefit. Very nice, very nice, very, very, very nice, very nice, very nice, very, very, very nice, very nice. One of the most wholesome and laugh out loud musical comedies of the 2000s, the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee delighted audiences when it premiered on Broadway in 2005. People think we're automatons. Ten years later, the original cast got back together for one night only in a fundraiser for the Actors Fund and to honor the life of the original production stage manager. Cast members portraying the quirky and lovable middle schoolers included Jesse Tyler Ferguson, who originated the role of Leif Coneybear before his modern family fame, and Dan Fogler, later of the Fantastic Beasts franchise. Lugubrious. L U G U. B R I O U S. Look over here! That is correct. I know. If anything, the laughs were even more side splitting this time around. Number 
Number 7. The Cast of Matilda the Musical – NHS Benefit When I grow up I will be tall enough to reach the branches That I need to reach to climb the trees You get to climb when you're grown up What started as a beloved children's book, then as an equally special movie, eventually found fame as a first-rate musical in the West End in 2011, and on Broadway in 2013. The original West End cast came together in 2020 to perform the show's signature tune, When I Grow Up, as a benefit for the NHS. The digital chorus featured many grown-up members of the original production who starred in the show as children many years ago. It's a bittersweet moment set to a bittersweet song that reminds us all how fleeting childhood is and how magical it is once we find the time to revisit it. Number 6. The Cast of Hairspray – 74th Tony Awards After an intermission of nearly two years due to the COVID-19 pandemic, mid-2021 saw the triumphant return of Broadway. The delayed Tony Awards ceremony, which traditionally takes place in June each year, aired in September, coinciding with Broadway House's reopening. The original cast of 2003's Hairspray was invited to open the show as a way to kick off the ceremony with the appropriate dose of high energy. Stars like Marissa Jarrett Winokur and Matthew Morrison got everyone on their feet. Their rousing performance proved to everyone that no matter what comes its way, Broadway is unstoppable. Number 5. Audra McDonald and Brian Stokes Mitchell, 74th Tony Awards. You go down Get ready for the waterworks. When vocal powerhouses Audra McDonald and Brian Stokes Mitchell reunited on stage at the 2021 Tony Awards, there was not a dry eye in the house or at home. Then we'll travel on from there. Singing their famous duet, Wheels of a Dream, from 1998's Ragtime, their performances are intensely powerful and emotional. Mitchell's creamy baritone and McDonald's flawless soprano provide all the musicianship one could desire. But it's the way they bring life and resonance to each word and phrase that melts even the coldest hearts. <laughs> Nostalgic and sentimental, they gleefully smile at each other during the last few moments of their performance, which is just the icing on top of this already perfect performance. Number 4. The Cast of Hamilton – Some Good News How does a bastard, orphan, son of a whore and a Scotsman, dropped in the middle of a forgotten spot in the Caribbean by providence impoverished and squalor, grow up to be a hero and a scholar? During the COVID-19 pandemic, John Krasinski wanted to bring some much-needed optimism for the world, and thus, Some Good News was born. 
The web series news program highlighted positive stories. Many episodes featured celebrity guests. And in April 2020, the original Broadway cast of Hamilton got together to make one of their youngest fans' dreams come true. The pandemic shut down nine-year-old Aubrey's birthday plans to see the Tony Award-winning production. You can never back down, you never learn to take your So, Lin-Manuel Miranda and his fellow performers like Christopher Jackson, Leslie Odom Jr., Philippa Sue, and Davi Diggs zoomed in to give her a once-in-a-lifetime performance. There's a million things I haven't done, but just you wait. What's your name, man? Alexander Hamilton. The ensemble also reunited a few months later on Jimmy Fallon, proving that they aren't just a cast, they are a family. Number 3. The cast of Spring Awakening. Spring Awakening, those you've known. This is years in the making. I can't believe I'm leaving Spring Awakening. Years of wanting it and wanting it and wanting it. And now I'm finally saying goodbye. It took 15 years and a global pandemic, but the original cast of Spring Awakening came back together for a benefit concert. And thankfully, HBO was there to capture it. Then you can screw up. Many of the cast have gone on to blossom on Broadway and in other media, but somehow everyone was available to come back to the show that started it all. It's safe to say Jonathan Groff's nearly constant tears mirrored our own emotions. More than just a one-off song bringing original cast together, those you've known added more to the nostalgia by showing old footage and interviews in addition to concert footage. Broadway gods, if you're listening, we would like this for every show we've ever loved. This is the right way to do it. Now he'll walk on my arm through the distant night And I won't let them stray from my heart Number 2. Kristen Chenoweth and Adina Menzel, 74th Tony Awards I've heard it said That people come into our lives for a reason. Adina Menzel and Kristen Chenoweth may have said goodbye for good to their iconic roles in Wicked, but the duo has still reunited on a few occasions. And their 2021 Tony Awards show reunion hit us right in the feels. Singing this heartfelt duet, they pay tribute to their onstage personas. And now I love the way our stories end. I know you have rewritten my honors Glinda in a pink dress, while Menzel sports a black dress and emerald green earrings and nails for Alphaba. Of course, Wicked fans know that the duo has also reunited to perform the same song for the digital segment Hashtag Out of Oz. And none of it seems to matter anymore. No matter the performance, Stephen Schwartz's song packs a punch, and like the lyrics state, leave a handprint on all of our hearts. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. The cast of American Idiot, Pandemic Fund Video. Cast performs 21 Guns for Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS COVID-19 Emergency Fund. Nothing's ever built to last. You're in ruins. You're in ruins. One, one, one Guns. The casts of Avenue Q, Actors Fund Benefit. Cast reunites digitally with a sing-along video too for now. Don't stress. Before we can 
continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Cast of Rent – Rent Live In 1996, the late Jonathan Larson's masterpiece Rent changed musical theater. After a legendary run on Broadway and a film adaptation, in 2019 it enjoyed a live, televised performance. At the end of this special evening, the original cast got together to help bring the show back to its origins by singing one of the show's most famous numbers, Seasons of Love. Seasons of Adina Menzel, Tay Diggs, Anthony Rapp, Jesse L. Martin, and Adam Pascal all came out to pay tribute and honor the show. Rapp and Pascal stepped back into the roles of Mark and Roger yet again in 2021 to perform What You Own at the Tonys. And when you're living in America, at the end of the millennium. Both moments were full of pure nostalgia and a reminder of the show's impact not only on theater but culture. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.